Hi, I'm Robin Emmert. I'm Chief Editor of European Defence Matters and I'm here at the European Defence Innovation Days in Brussels and I've been talking to some of the people making innovation in defence happen. So Mario, hi. Uh, tell us who you are and what you do. Hello, um, good afternoon. My name is Mario Martini. I'm moderator of CapTech Land. Uh, the formal name is Ground Systems, but uh, we used to, to call it uh, CapTech Land. So our main goal is to develop technology for the capabilities of the future. So we develop technology today to be used later uh, by our colleagues that work in capability development activities. What we try to do is to uh, close the gap between uh, low TRL level or technology readiness level uh, technology from CapTex that work specially at the subsystem level um, and close this gap with the capability needs. So we are mainly technology integrators instead of technology developers. We have two main um, lines, I'll say, of trends that are very important for us. First are the operational trends. Other are the technological trends. So for us, the operational trends are mainly described in our main document for the uh, European Union um, member states uh, in what it concerns to capability development, that is the capability development plan. So it's a document that uh, was prepared in 2018. When you talk about um, the technological perspective or the technological trends, so here it's important for us to look uh, into what is happening in, uh, in a dual use perspective, so civilian world, civilian sector, uh, and military sector, uh, and see how we can use in an innovative way technology that is used or developed in the uh, civilian uh, domain. Oh, but I wanted to ask you about the future 2040. Where do you think European defence capabilities in your area might be and how might they adapt? So, um, I would say that the most uh, relevant elements of technology that uh, we are already uh, considering and uh, launching activities uh, are, are specially related to the uh, broad use of autonomous systems for land operations. So these autonomous systems or this autonomy will bring us uh, or it will decrease the risk or the danger of military, of some of military tasks that by um, the, their characteristics are usually very dangerous, but also will decrease the workload of the soldiers and can uh, decrease the number of soldiers that we can use in operation. So this is uh, one way of uh, using, I'll say, uh, in a smart way, this kind of autonomous system. This kind of systems, autonomous systems, will decrease the risk and the danger of operations in the future, but also will uh, allow to perform actions with more precision, with more endurance, and uh, without uh, the need for uh, the same amount of human beings in operations. And here, the main elements of change will be a much uh, comprehensive situation awareness and a much easier and also um, comprehensive command control possibilities for the commanders of the future.